What's up guys, it's Eric, I'm out here again with the Losi 8 XTE. Uh, this came as a kit, I had so much fun building it. Um, I'm kind of excited to give this thing another run. Um, I made a couple changes on it Whoop. Uh, uh, from the last bash. I did have the uh, rear center drive shaft uh, kept bending on me. You guys probably heard that in the last video, uh, coming off the ramp, stuff like that. Uh, this thing has so much uh, chassis flex in the back because of this plastic brace. Uh, so I was able to use the front uh, a dog bone out of the Mojave the front drive shaft and it fit right in here perfect it was, it was the exact same length i still has a little bit of play in it and of course that's five millimeters so hopefully that'll hold up a little bit better um, i had no problems in the front with the front drive shaft uh, even though it's the three millimeter because of this upgraded uh 7075 uh, uh top plate and front brace uh, but i can't find a rear brace right now for it so we're just going to roll with it and uh, see how it does uh, so far everything's holding up on the truck there was no brakes uh, after the last bash and on the towers here, just kind of help save the towers in case there's a roll. I just don't want it want to catch in those towers. You know, they're, they're too pretty. So I threw in some, uh, this is some cooling line uh, from an RC boat. I uh, just kind of just kind of cut it and zip tied it on there. And then in the front too, which will kind of help, you know, if it, if it ends up hitting the body. So we're going to give this thing another run. Uh, real quick, I do have the Hobby Star 4076 in it uh, with 18 tooth pinion. Uh, it's 2000 KV with a Max 8 uh, ESC. And I got 100,000 in the center diff and 45 weight in the rear shocks. Everything else on the truck is set up, uh, you know, straight from the manual. So we're going to give her a quick run and see what's up. That was close. Guys, this truck just handles so insane. Oh! Didn't quite get that backflip. That's a good, uh, low tough test. I think I just unplugged the battery. Oh, there she goes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I just It's getting late, and i got to get out of here. I just wanted to give this thing a quick run at this gravel pit. A uh, huge shout-out to uh, Thomas P. from uh, TP Parts RC Extreme. He's uh, This is definitely a uh, TP style out here, <laughs> but it's so much fun. 
uh, just launching off these mounds and just ripping around. Uh, this truck is uh, for a race spec vehicle is definitely holding up. Uh, it just blows my mind. Uh, the chassis, I mean, the chassis is still straight. As you can see, I mean, it's not got the first bend at all in it. If it does, it's, it's from the uh, the fish eye and the GoPro. Uh, but everything is, it looks like my rear drive shaft mod right here with the Mojave front drive shaft is working out perfect. Uh, had no bending of that. And, uh, and the motor and the ESC temps are just, are barely existent. I mean, I can hold my, I mean, it's probably 120 degrees max. So I may uh, gear up to a 22 from the 18 just to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more get up and go out of her. I mean, she hauls ass now as it is, but I'm always looking for more speed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it was a lot of fun. A uh, huge shout out again to Horizon Hobby for uh, sending this out. This has been this is an amazing rig and can't wait to uh, explore with it some more and see what else she can do. All right, guys. Until next time, RC Dude Eighty One. Peace out. Oh. <laughs>